Hello, I am Udit Singhal, a 17-year-old Year 12 student at the British School, New Delhi. This machine next to me is Glass to Sand. Glass to Sand is a project where glass bottles are converted to sand. It all started in summer 2018, where I saw glass bottles piling up at home. That made me wonder why. Why were glass bottles piling up at home when recyclers are supposed to take it? The bariwalas as we call them. I saw, having dug deeper into the conundrum, that glass bottles would end up in the landfills. The kabariwalas or the rag pickers as we know them weren't taking bottles. They would just not put a price on it. And inevitably, that's how it, it would end up in the landfills. Where we think glass bottles are up for recycling and 80% of them should be. Most of them aren't and that's where the problem lies. We can see that our landfills in Delhi alone are mountains. The Ghazipur landfill is huge and it's going to grow bigger. Having said that, glass is voluminous. It does not decompose for a million years and so if, it, if at all it ends up in the landfill, it will stay there forever would not decompose and would just add to the volume. That's where I thought and started to research. Thank you Google for helping me find this company in New Zealand. That's where my research ended, where I met Xpleco, a company that transforms glass bottles into sand. And that's really a big deal that made me think of its applications in Delhi, in India. And having thought of that, I entered into a deep conversation with the owners. Having built a relationship with them over a month or two, I was able to find their support and convince them as a 16 year old when I first spoke to them of bringing in a pilot machine to India, to Delhi, applying it to the Indian context and making sure that the project works. In the process, I was able to get a very special government grant, a New Zealand High Commission grant from um, Her, Her Excellency Joanna Kempkers. She has also been very supportive in this um, exercise. Glass bottles being converted into sand. The byproduct is very useful. It provides 76% silica in the, in the sand that's yielded. Now that's very useful and that has a lot of construction advantages. Silica, as we all know, holds substances well together. And having tested it in the, in the Delhi market with a construction agency, I can say that silica, the, the sand that we have produced here, is much more valuable than regular sand. I have been able to find support in people, find support for bottles, the collection of bottles from hotels, from embassies, and soon collections will be in full force. I have faced multiple barriers, barriers that have stopped me at times from taking this movement forward. But I am proud that in the end, I was able to bring in a result, bring in the concept that I once thought of to reality. It has been a great achievement in my mind as a 17 year old to be able to do such a thing. But this is only the beginning and it is now up to you to help me make this bigger. I seek your support. Support Glass Susan today.